Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, back. We're doing another. This is a Throne of Eldraine draft, guys. Um, this pack is great. There's a Sir Conrad, but more importantly, there is this sweet Bone Crusher Gigante, uh, who I think is actually very, very good. I don't think the foil's worth anything. It's like a dollar seventy-five, so it's not like it's. We're not doing it for the money, guys. We're not doing it for the money. We're doing it for the for the heart. We're doing it for the memes, guys. Even more importantly, there's a secret keeper. That's less important, you maniac. You absolute maniac. This guy's good, right? Uh, they shifted the next man announcement day by, by like a month. Yeah, I mean, like, it's this Monday, right? This pack is great. This card's good. This card's good. I don't like it. I don't like giving my opponent cards ever, and I think that's my own. That's in my brain. Uh, this card's great. I'm gonna, we're going to take this because I don't want to, like, run out of... Ooh. Ooh, Scorching Dragonfire. Yeah, we're just going to take Scorching Dragonfire. I love an Order of Midnight, but I don't think it's worth... Maybe it is. Having two Bone Crusher Giants, like... Yeah, Brett, it's after this weekend's uh, Mythic Championship. I'm actually going to check and make sure. Banned. Restricted October. Let's see if that finds it. And no one will please tell you this. Uh, we previously announced the next BNR as of November 18th after... For, oh, it's October 21st, so like Wednesday. Uh, actually, I think that is Monday, is it not? Yeah, 21st is Monday. I said the 18th. I agree that Order is a better card. But it's forces us into blue, black, into black, white, or black, red. I'm going to get these colors right. I'm going to take Scorch. Oh. Immediately rewarded. All right, we're doing it. Or immediately punished because we could have gotten a Scorching Dragonfire and an Order of Midnight. But I don't know. I'm just going to take the two Scorching Dragonfires. And our first three picks are three, three removal spells. And also a fat giant boy. Uh, Trebuchet? I mean, I have no incentive to pick any of these other cards. Scavengers is good, but we don't have any artifacts. Like, Trebuchet is just good. It's also quite obnoxious, so. Weapon Rack is okay-ish. I'm not super sold on it. It's just kind of slow, and... None of these things actually encourage me to go into a different color. Oh, wow. That's fifth pick? That's comforting. That makes me feel good about my life choices here. Our deck seems very good for five picks in. Now all we need to do is draw an Oko. Open Oko Foil Oko. That seems reasonable, right? I don't know if this format's deep enough for mono red. If we get like seven, I'm taking like all the dwarfs though. I'm taking seven, seven dwarves. Can you play more than, you can play more than seven dwarves in limited, right? Okay, inspiring veteran seems great here. This is a knight, this is a giant. Yeah, we're just taking this. Really? It's interesting because that seems like that, that line of text, you can play seven copies, is meant for constructed. Because in constructed, there's a limit. In limited, there's no limit. So if you draft eight bacon a pie, you can actually play all eight of them. That's how limited works. But that's interesting that if you draft eight seven dwarves, you can't play all eight of them because of the limitation on the card. Which is intended, seemingly, to be... Um, the opposite of a limitation. I'm going to take Trapped in the Tower since we're white. So. Uh, this pack not super exciting, but a cow is a cow. so It's a 3-3 for 4. It's whatever. Uh, Ogre Arant is not terrible. Ferocity is a card I'm not super impressed with. so 
You think Rimrock now is better than Trapped? That's interesting. Yeah, another Ogre or Rant. These are all Knights, which are great for the Trebuchet. It's great for Inspiring Veteran. Um, yeah, let's take Dwarven. I'm not a Rimrock Knight fan. I'll take it and play it, but I'm not. I don't think it's just great. Oh, Lonesome seems great here. Wow, our deck's looking good. That's playable, for sure. That's better than Cow, I think. This is a very good first pick. Let's be let's be clear about that. I think Archon of Absolution is really good. And I'm going to take that. I wish look at this. There's a there's a black red one and a black white one, but not a white red one. That is unfortunate. I'm going to take this Archon. I think Archon's really good. Against white decks, you're just like, all right, you can't beat this. Against like any other deck, you're just like, well, pay for your guys. Pay for your attacks. And it's a 3-2 flyer, so Oh, the deck looking the deck looking good does mean 3 Oof. I didn't I forgot about that. Uh Mysterious Pathlighter also great. Alright, these these packs have been good so far. I had opponent drop that Archon when I had when I had stolen by the Fey. Oh yeah, you're just like, alright, I'll make guys and pay a million for their attacks. Pay a million. I think every card we've gotten so far here is solid. This is like the weakest card. Hushbringer, even that's good. Jeez. Oh, another Scorching Dragonfire? The problem is this shuts off our stuff too, so like knights entering the battlefield wouldn't trigger trebuchet. It's just dragon fire, right? I just want a triple dragon fire. You'll get caught up in the triple dragon fire. I don't feel like we even need scalding target. I do like plus two, plus two, and all of your creatures getting trample. Like that's just a solid trick. Ugh, another red black one. I'll take Squire. Uh, maybe Crystal Slipper is decent. Yeah, I think Slipper is actually pretty playable, to be quite honest. Seven Dwarfs number one. Do we just try it? I don't know if we're Flutterfoxing. I'm going to go Seven Dwarf. I'm going to see what this what this ends up. I, I think Emberoth Paladin is not great. We're going to keep this dude in the sideboard. I'll take True Love's first kiss. I like having this as a sideboard gun. Hushbringer can't be better than just the third Dragonfire. Correct. I agree with you. Yeah, if you're given a menace, it's fine, but otherwise. Do we go deep on the dwarves or do we go deep on the scorch? I mean, this is two dwarves in one pack, which could signal they're going to be open in the next pack. I'm going to go with the dwarves here. And I'm going to feel okay with it. Oh, another unicorn? I like another unicorn, actually. Oh, 
Like both of these in this pack are pretty pretty good, pretty serendipitous, I would say. Take armor, I guess. I don't. I just four fires is a lot. I think we'll be okay with three. Another pal that's a late shine chaser. I'm just gonna take shine chaser. Why? I don't know. Maybe I take a weapon rack. I'm not gonna play weapon rack. Maybe I take ginger brute. Dang. I'll take ginger brute, I guess. Oh, alright, sure. If we can get three more dwarves, I'm gonna be super comfortable about it. Another dwarven mine? Okay, it says a deck can have up to seven cards named seven dwarves. Oh my god. <sighs> Come on, dude. It's gotta be a claimed contender, right? It can hit equipment, it can hit... These aren't knights, though, is the problem. So, like, how many hits do we actually have here for a claimed contender? Let's figure that out. Um, knight... Aura, equipment, or legendary artifact. Knight, 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 knight. Equipment. Like, we only have five hits for Acclaimed Contender. Six. I mean, six hits is still not a lot. Alright, I'm taking it. I mean, I mean, we'll never be able to play the Rider in this deck. I think we definitely take the other five drop that's just very good. We can also take Searing Barrage. I think having two of these is... Oh, Slaying Fire? Jesus. That's not, that's not a hard pick. I mean, we just want more hits for the Acclaimed Contender now. The problem is if we take out these seven doors, we have no two drops. You know what I mean? Like, I have no idea if this is a a three O deck. Okay, well now, no, 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 just stop it. I don't understand. I... How do I always get a claimed contender, worthy knight, and murderous rider? Like, I would have gotten murderous rider if we didn't just pass it. Like, how do I always get these three cards in my drafts, dude? I have no idea. This is the most... I mean, this dwarf makes every other dwarf so much better. So. It's the new Jaya's Immolating Inferno. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, we definitely want a dwarf. You gotta consider that if we take these dwarves out, we have literally two two drops. We want more knights, but we don't get we don't just get more knights if we take the dwarves out. So, like, if we take these guys out, we have two two drops that we can play on turn two. Which is... Not great, because then a claim contender just doesn't... It's not going to trigger anyway, but at least we... I don't want to play this on three if I don't have a two drop. So that means I wouldn't have a two drop or a three drop, whereas now we just have three dwarves, which is just fine. 
I thought this was another acclaimed contender. I was like, I was like, wow, that's insane. I guess we just take Lonesome Unicorn. I don't like Lonesome because it doesn't trigger Worthy Knight, but I think it's still better than Merchant of the Veil. Vale. Hmm. I see. I see. Fervent Champion. I don't think Rummage Guy is that good. I think it's fine. It's just not a knight. Like it doesn't it doesn't have any synergy and I'm not gonna play it over anything we have, so. I mean I will take it this time. I don't think we're gonna play an outflank. Oh man, if that inspiring veteran came back, that'd be amazing. All right, now we're probably cutting the dwarves. Yeah. That's a worry. If this was a knight, I would I would just windmill slam it. Eh, whatever. No, okay. I mean, I think actually the Overgrow Rant is, might be better than the, the Art and Veil 2-5. It's a 3-4 instead of a 2-5. But, like, it also gives dude Menace. Like, that's actually very, very good. Or this could just be our deck right here. Uh, I probably want the other Knight. We can probably take something out that's not a Knight. Wow, this deck seems nuts. Path Letter seems good. We can. I mean, we only have, like, three cards that, that really hit it. Uh, four actually Rimrock, I guess. So we have Bone Crusher, Rimrock, and the two unicorns, which is fine. It's still a two-two flyer for for two for three. You guys remember when I said the veteran might wheel, and it did. I'm gonna be a this deck is pretty pretty sick. Try to draft your seat and recognize signals a little better next time around. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that advice. Solid standard beat. You might say you just handed me a standard beat. Um, God, this deck seems really good now. Remember when we were like, we don't have that many knights. I think we, I think we upped our knight count significantly. Eleven knights, and both of these uh, put knights onto play, which is good for contender. I mean, I could just go seventeen, uh, forty-one too. I'm not, I'm not opposed to that. I might just play one Dwarven Mine for, for free. Yeah, I like this. I think our whole deck is good enough. This hand, this I'll keep. We'll ship one mountain back. Our opponent's like, I have, I kept seven cards. I'm better than you. Well, you know what, buddy? Oh wow, go UCF Knights. That's crazy. Central Florida boy. All right, this is a solid curve. I don't actually want to kill this because it just dies to Trebuchet. Not dies, but like we can just block it all day with Trebuchet. Okay, well now I'm going to kill it because I want to block this with my Trebuchet. Oh boy. I actually went to USF, the University of South Florida. What? 
I was hoping they'd forget about. Is this when you cast? When a knight enters the battlefield. Ooh, that's nice. Man, FSU, UCF, USF, FU. People did not call me College Mike. Believe it or not, that meme was not around back then. And uh, even if it was, I doubt people at my school would have known it. Oh, that was great. Outshined, outshined, outshined. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I have another. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's that's scary. Got him. This is an interesting game where I feel like we're not that aggressive right now. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. We can just shoot their face and... Uh, get a free draw every turn. I mean, that's if they don't have another baked into baked into a pie. Mm, that's annoying. Interesting. I just looked in the mirror. I'll take two. I can't block, right? I'm tempted to wait to play these. I can play both of them next turn and get an extra point in. I don't know if that's great. Oh, not my Scorching Dragon. Oh, not the my dragon. This guy can't block or attack. Okay. Yeah, all right. Wish I killed that. Yep, this is rough. Now we're now we're in a bad now we're in a bad way. I said it trapped in the tower one time. I like that they didn't play that pre combat to deal two more damage. Hmm. 
one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Well, we don't have the. play a land yet if we draw like we don't have any five drops I guess we'll just shoot their face that actually seems good we probably should have played a unicorn first next turn we can go one two three four five six yeah we'd still have bone crusher up Things are looking so good. Just gonna eat this guy? Sure. I mean, we're actually, we have like three damage next turn, right? With the, just this alone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does the first half of the Unicorn spell trigger the Trebuchet on tapping? Yes, because it's not cast. It's whenever a knight enters the battlefield. And it is a knight entering the battlefield. Not a dumb question. Sometimes it's cast. Sometimes whenever you cast a knight spell, so... I think this block is actually okay. They only get to kill one. And then we get to end of turn Bone Crusher Giant. And if we keep the if we keep the inspiring veteran, these two are both bigger. So is our 4-4. Four, four. Okay, that was great that it resolved. It's also very good. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, we're just dealing with four, and then we still get to. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, that's really good. All right, I feel okay about this. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'm gonna crack this food. Yikes. The card advantage is real. And we win the game. Okay, seems good. I think a bunch of floaty boys. I think everything, I think everything on our sideboard that we want is in our deck. True Love's Kiss is good against the, the Gargoyle. That's pretty much it. it. Might actually be worth it. Yes. Yes, I will keep this hand. I mean, when they're at 10, 
I don't know if killing and we have two pingers on board. I feel like getting trebuchet off the board seems correct. Like that's just a lot of damage really fast. Wow. You got it. Snap off that opt. I'm looking kind of Sure. Give me that rim rock. I'm gonna I'm gonna just attack here. If they want to trade their their witching well for my worthy knight when they don't get to draw two later. That is fine. Oh, they did not. They're like, no way you can have that. And I'm like, alright, cool. Sound does good. Mill me for two. Wow, those are the bone crusher giants are really sad. I would have liked to have had that in my hand. Oh, I'll just take it. For sure, my dude. Hmm. Fascinating. You got it. Oh, they did nothing. You got it. Oh, no fifth land? Yikes. Okay, you got it. <sighs> Do foil cards not make foil tokens? Oh, wow, that's probably just a mistake. I used to love that. You got it. Let's see what we get here. You want to do it before you play your land so that you can always hit a land. That's really okay, actually. That's, wow. I don't dislike that at all. Our deck seems very good. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm overstating it. Oh, do they have a bounce spell? No? What? You just put your... Oh, that's weird. What? 
why aren't you just oh oh fancy fancy that's nice that's not gonna it's not gonna save you but it's nice God, so fancy Sammy, what's going on, my dude? It's your boy. You think they have another runaway together in their hand? I don't. The value. <laughs> uh, it's your turn. We didn't play an inspiring vendor because we're only attacking with one, two knights this turn, so not really a huge deal. I'd rather just get a bigger ogre rant on board. Sure, you got it. I would say we successfully went wide this game. I would say this is this is what's known as doing it, yeah. I uh I don't know if you guys knew this, but our deck was seems it seems okay. I do worry about X fours though. Oh wow, I really want I, I want to keep this hand, but I can't. I don't want to keep this hand, but I think I will. Yeah, it was basically. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn, boy. We'll get rid of planes because if we hit any other mountain, the dwarven dwarven mine becomes good, and we still have four mana up until that point. Okay. Well, another Merfolk Secret Keeper deck. Where Trapped in the Tower is suspect at best. I have not tried Knights in Modern. I don't know if that's a thing. It just feels like it's just probably a worse humans deck. But maybe not. Something good. Fly me to the moon and do 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 and scoo do do do. I hope you resolve, but I didn't say please. So I assume my opponent's gonna fucking counter my spell because they literally always do. I've never met an opponent who didn't have it. If only this guy was plus three plus oh, then we'd have. Oh, look, okay. a. Castle Vantress, how nice. And well, I guess that's a dude. I probably just want to play the mine here, because if we draw five drop this is the only five drop in our deck. Our odds are higher of drawing another mountain than they are another five drop, so. Ooh, whoa! All right, so we're gonna pay four for that, but I think it's still fine.
Now I am going to play this because next turn we can go both of these, all of these things. Friends helping friends. Can't block this. Do you want to block this? Oh, I ate that dude. They do have six cards in their hand, which is pretty nuts. Not a fan of that. That's fine. I accept. <sighs> oh, God. Infuriating. I kind of want to keep slaying fire up here. Is this where they play lock, Blocky Boy? Oh god. Is this where they play Lock Mirror Serpent? I feel like it is, and I'm gonna feel bad about it. Nope, that's not how Menace works. Nope, that's not how Menace works. There you go. Yeah, killing it is the only thing I was actually feeling okay about, but they just get it back. Ugh. It goes back to hand, otherwise that'd be insane. Otherwise people would just be cheating it into their graveyards. Sure.
sequencing. If we attack with both of these, it's actually pretty okay. Yep. Oh, uh, it's actually it is it is seeing constructed play in certain blue black control lists. I played one last week and it did great. I mean, I'm all adventurous paladin for a, a rimrock knight. That seems solid. We have three rare knights on the board right now. That's our life. Yep. They're just going to keep playing big, fat, idiot flyers. And we're up 20. But, like, a lot of our good stuff's in the graveyard. Slaying fire. Scorching. Uh, scorching dragon fire. I guess we only have used one scorching dragon fire so far. So there's still two more left on our deck. Here's one now. Ooh, mysterious path lighter. I think this game is out of our reach now. Lockmere Serpent, Serpent was literally just too good. Like, I think this card is absolutely busted and limited. Yep, they're just going to play it next turn. We have nothing to really do. Yep, we're just going to draw Mono Lands. Okay. Okay. So now we're just saving Trapped in the Tower for that guy. That's just there. That's just what we have to do. I didn't see anything that I really care about with True Love's Kiss. I think this is actually good. I don't love this hand, but whatever. Rimrock Knight might be able to do some damage. We have removal, so. I also think Ogre Rant is good, but we have three in the deck. I don't think we need four. Worthy Knight. Okay, sure. And we're playing this now. Like, I'm not going to, like, wait until we have a creature that we can, like... I'm not going to wait till turn five. I'm going to forego, like, six damage just so we can pump the one ogre around. Like, that seems silly. Okay. Sure. Obviously have to get rid of Crashing Drawbridge. Drawbridge. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I did not see it when it popped, but... <laughs> wow, double Crashing Drawbridge. 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 See, now, knowing the deck has two didn't say please, I'm tempted to just attack here and leave it to Beaver. Yep, if you don't want to do anything, neither do I. Yep. Got him? Oh yeah, 
play something. Oh yeah, play that stupid idiot turtle. Oh boy, this is a good attack. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Let's go to game three. Let's attack. Turn that dude into a pumpkin. What? Thank you. Franconic Disciple. Wang Chung tonight. Well, you got me. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 14 months, over a year. Good lord. You guys are wonderful. Just amazing. <laughs> okay. So we just trapped in the tower of this and they're dead? Sound okay. I guess I'll use white. I mean, they got mana screwed, so it's hard to, like, be super excited. But, whatever. Sub message to Wang Chung tonight. Must be a karaoke video. YouTube, probably. <laughs> Oh boy. Everybody draw hands tonight. I'm gonna keep this hand. I think it's fine. God, they never mulligan. Can we draw a worthy knight? That'd be great. Trapped in the tower? Okay. Draw bridges for days. Still no worthy knights, huh? Okay. Well, that's too bad. Also, our odds of adamanting this are very low. There you go. Counter this. Count my. Oh, they did not. They're like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't care about your slipper. That's fine. That's really annoying. No, we should play my unicorn. That's really annoying. Unicorn. They didn't do anything, they missed another land drop? That's fascinating. Huh. Get on, my little ogre boy.
sure. They hit that fifth land. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the plus one power from the Crystal Slipper is supply, su surprisingly relevant. Yeah, I don't care about that. Is I wish we had three red because then we can go cast this guy. We can pump this guy, cast this guy, and then slipper it. Actually, that's probably good, right? Boulder rush on you, cast you, slipper you, and then we got a lot of damage. Yeah, that's that's a nice that's a nice nine, my dude. Oh wow. That's got menace. I don't know why you keep trying to block the menace guy. It's not how that. Yeah, well, yeah, put this guy in front too. Still has menace. Still, still has menace. There we go. Let's get rid of this stupid bird. Ah, oh, fudge! I should have moved the thing over at the end. I forgot. I didn't forget. I just wasn't quick enough. I forgot, and then I remembered, but then I wasn't quick enough by that point. So. Because now if we draw something like Cercara, then we can't actually play it and equip the Ogre, so mm, I guess that's okay. I'm actually at a point where I might just barge in here just to get the damage through. But, well, yeah, I was afraid of Runaway together. I'm just going to play the land here. I wish we had more creatures. I really, really do. Hey, look, it's the card I gave you. That's great. Look at you. <sighs> Should have just waited a turn, I guess. God, if I just one more creature. Can I just get one more creature? I have five cards in hand. What are all these cards they have? I don't understand. I'm just taking it? Okay. I mean, our hand is pretty stacked. You got it. I cannot cast the unicorn, no. That's pretty sick. Don't sleep on that slipper. Fairy Vandal. Sure. It doesn't do anything, really. Oh, God. Oh, God. Such much blowouts. Oh, 
Oh, is it other creatures you control? Each non-human creature gets trampled. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Wow, oh, the trample would have been great, because then we get the ability, but that's sad. Dealt two extra damage. And we still got barge in for this and the other half of that. If they want to play this, it's fine. They just it's unimpressive. Okay. God fuck. Ah, damn it. That's so obnoxious. Because now they now we just give this menace, they just double block, and then like it just trades. No, I'm definitely saving this for for Lockmere Serpent because it's like our only way to deal with it. So yeah, that's fine. I don't care about all that. They're gonna discard nothing. Okay. All right. None of these are super exciting. Huh. It's actually not terrible. So they can just go block three 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 two. JTHD, oh my god, dude. I got a Toblerone in the mail today. Oh, let's just kill the two let's just two for one then. land yes free land is always nice I did not open the actual Toblerone dude I, I took a picture and sent it to him immediately and I fucking laughed my ass off dude it was the most hilarious thing ever I was not expecting it I had no idea what it was when I saw the package, dude. It was amazing. So for those who don't know, me and Andrew uh, do a podcast called Friends. We haven't done it in a few weeks, though, because I've been busy and he's been busy and everybody's been busy. But um, we had this we had this section about, like, I don't know. I don't know how it happened. But we talked about, like, what if you got a Toblerone because you can customize what's on it. And you get a Toblerone that just, like, it's a large, a larger version of the Toblerone. And it says Larry David on it, and you just give him that Toblerone. Wow, they hit acclaimed and Bone Crusher Giant. That's pretty insane. Um, what would you what would you do? Like, what would he do? You know, like what would what would Larry David's reaction if you got him a Toblerone and it said his name on it and you gave it to him? And uh, so in the mail today, I literally got a Toblerone from JTHD that had. <laughs> Oh man, that was that literally just said Larry David on it, and it was the most hilarious thing. I'll show you guys after this round. I'll go grab it and show it on. It's unbelievable. So the menace is nice here because they have to double block. 
or else we get to draw a free card. And we get to draw a free card here, which is great. Lonesome Unicorn seems pretty good for me. Cast the Rider in Need. Rider in Need. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Can't cast second half yet. Dude, it was the most amazing. I was like, what the hell is this? I'm not expecting anything. And I go look, I open it, and it's a Toblerone, and I'm like, what? And then it says Larry David on it, and I was like, oh my god, dude. It was amazing, dude. I mean, if they want to counter this, they can. They did not. I mean, if they have something, whatever. I feel like we're in good shape here. They didn't cast Lonesome Unicorn last turn, which is kind of weird. Do they not know they can cast that? I don't know. Maybe they just can't. Okay, they just win. I'll, or we just win, rather. Give me one second. I'm going to go grab that Toblerone real quick. Hold on a second. It's going to be amazing. So, like, okay, well, it's a Toblerone. It's very big. And on the back, it says Larry David. Oh, Jesus. It's like, it's, there's a message inside for when Andrew delivers it to Larry David? What? Like, inside the actual package? Are you serious? <laughs> I just can't get over this, man. It's actually hilarious. Toblerone. Larry David on the back. <laughs> I'm just like, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Outside of this limited deck we have. It's just fantastic. Dude, that kind of shit, like, that's that's what makes streaming and making content all worthwhile. Dan, then welcome back, buddy. Good seeing you, my friend. Um, yes, it's seeing it in the, like, Toblerone font where you're like, oh, Toblerone. And then in the same font, you're like, oh, or is it Larry David? It's amazing. Dude, this is amazing. This hand is also really good. The only thing I could hope for is a worthy knight instead of an inspiring veteran, but I think we're still okay. There should be a flap that opens up for a seat. What? Oh my god, I bet it's under here. Oh my god, it's it's right under here. I don't want to open it though. It says regards a fan. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I can't. It's too much. That's amazing. That's absolutely incredible. Dude, the effort you put in, it's unbelievable, man. I'm big on effort. That shit's amazing. I hope they tap out for something dumb like this guy so I can just play a claim of contender and not have to worry about getting nuked from orbit. Yes. Excellent. I will draw a card. Oh, probably not Sarkara, right? Slipper's pretty good. I'm going to take the I'm going to take the actual knight.
yeah jthd you went you went above and beyond dude you are a maniac dude you're worth it <laughs> oh man the fact that like because i that was just a funny meme that we did in the podcast right like i never thought that would actually become a thing and yet here we are wow double dragon fire can you imagine if we could if we could double dragon fire here Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make this trade. That seems terrible. And they drew a card off of it. Please, please. I'll just go wide, and I'll assume my wideness is better than your wideness. Your royal wideness. Oh, that guy's got to go. Red. Mountain. 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 Jackal. It's a jackal. I don't like this guy. I do like this guy, though. So, 4-5, they just block with both. Nah, like, none of our attacks are very good. I think we're just keeping up dra dragon fire for next turn, huh? Turn memes into dreams. Wait, turn dreams into... I think you turn dreams into memes, right? Well, that's rude. But I accept. I accept. Riders on the storm. I don't think there's a... I guess they could have Lash. They could have Lash of Death, which is pretty bad for us. Don't have Lash of Death? Death Lash? I don't know. Just open the message. Dang it. I thought you wanted to save it for Andrew. You literally said save it for when Andrew's here. And now you're like, just open it right now. So Menace on the 4-4. Four -four. Seems good. Oh, they're just going to... Or, yep, that's what I figured you had when you when you played double black for Reeve's soul. This is just what I assumed you'd do. That's so like you. I mean, they're still taking 4,000 damage here. Well, they have dealt with acclaimed contender and worthy knight. Acclaimed contender is just a 3 3 once it's on the board, though, so. No better than a, than a lonesome unicorn. Oh, what up, Timothy? I mean, I could also just open it and send him a picture of it. Do you not like the opening and sending a picture for it? No, I'll just take this, bro. Riders on the storm. Yeah, their attack was actually good because, like, they can't, they're not going to block this guy and they can't block this guy. So, there's no point in holding back. So, I, I can commend that attack. Searing Dragon. If they had Searing Dragon, probably would have taken this guy out. And then they would have blocked here. So, I can't imagine they have. <coughs> Oh, you're listening. Oh, that's actually really good. They can sack the golden egg and make a make a broomy boy. I guess we can kill it. It's gonna be a trebuchet. Oh, it's gonna be a barge in. That's something right there. That is something. I think I found a website to print the tokens, so that's happening as soon as I have enough. That sounds awesome. 
Are they printed in Germany or in the U.S.? Larry David is not going to eat that thing if it's even a little open. That's true. And even if it's not a little open, I still don't think he'd eat it. Larry David. <laughs> That's all. I can't even handle how funny that is, dude. All right, so what's the play here? They crack this. They make a token. They have two tokens. We have Bargin, so I actually think we're in pretty bonkers shape. We have to keep in mind that if they block here and then they double block with the trees, the brooms. Yeah, this is fine. If they double block here and block here, we're definitely uh, barging in here because this guy's going to kill both of these anyway and then we still get to keep this guy with the trample so they take like... I don't know, a lot of damage. And they only have one red up, so I don't think there's anything other than Bargin in the format for one red, so. <clears throat> I think Italy. Buongiorno. Also, push up MTG is in the chat, so can't hard to say if they're uh, they're ghosting or if they're just opening chats of the people they're playing against. So Yep. Sure. Barge in here. I mean, if you're going to ghost and cheat against someone, you might as well change your Twitch name so it's not the same as your... Your name is your Magic Online name, right? That's like committing a bank robbery with, like, my name is Dave on your shirt. Like, it's just funny. Yeah, I don't know. He had a mask on, but it said my name's... He said, yeah, a shirt that said my name is Dave on it. One fan made handmade glass tumblers etched with our names and logo on them. That's fantastic, dude. That's sick. That's It's also crazy because you get to experience, like, the kind of skill and, like, work that people do outside of, like, you're like, you're like I just know you guys was watching my stream, but you guys have all, like, you're all, like, really talented and, like, you have skills and things and you can make stuff. And I'm just like, I play the games, I play the card games on the internet. And you guys are doing really like impressive stuff and it's just like well this is <clears throat> yep every game uh, <laughs> Oh, that's a big boy. Hmm. I guess we're playing land anyway, right? Might as well keep up the right one. got it 
a golden egg. Golden egg. Forever young, just to draw a card, sure. Yeah, that's funny you say that, Tim. Like, uh, it's a skill not everybody has. Like, it's funny because I, I hear that a lot where people are like, I tried to stream and it was really hard. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I don't think they're ghosting. Otherwise, like, I just don't feel like plays like this would be made because they would know. So, I don't know. It's just weird when people are in my chat that are actually playing against me. Yeah, I just don't want them to crack this egg and make two guys. Like, this is just a free creature on board when they have the broom, and if they don't have the broom, then it's not. So, that's just how it goes. <clears throat> they make a second red? Oh, no, they're not. I should remember once in a while it's super easy because no one watches. <laughs> Another egg. Dubs eggs. Oh, boy. Oh boy. On the bright side, we do have ways to get rid of the rats. So. Oh, we can also just use that. Ugh, jeez. So they can make one rat, we can kill the rat, and we can... <coughs> My only skill is mailing chocolate messages. Buddy, you do it. You do it well. Okay, well. You gotta get in the tower. This is actually pretty good because now our Rimrock has uh, Menacio. Are we going to 3-0 with this deck? Okay, that's actually good. <clears throat> you can shoot your own Piper. Solid gone, man. What does JTHD stand for? I feel like I should know that. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the seven O's are definitely the junk. You're like, wow, I don't know how I won with this deck. Um, so this is actually nice. I don't think I, th I don't think this is wrong because like we attack with both, and even if they double block either one, we're coming out ahead. So mind your business. Wow, wow. The dude sends a Toblerone to my house and he tells me to mind my business. That's amazing, buddy. I would say you made it my business. We're taking six here? Well, gotta do what you gotta do. I would say they're dead in three to trebuchet, but they got six life here, so. That's the most hostile response to what is your username I've ever heard. Yeah, I agree. I should ban him just on principle. Did you see Frank in his chat? He's banning his mods. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> I 
James and John. I guess Johnny makes sense because that is your name. So, oh God. Oh Lord. All right, so these two are out. Oh my God, a Henge Walker and three land and four lands. That's okay. I guess they can go Swamp Henge Walker this turn. It's pretty good. Well, now they're effectively on five, which is significantly better. Hmm. So they go... This guy has Menace, so they have to go, like, block... Block... Like, nothing they can do is really great here, because this guy's going to trade with whoever they block with. And, like, they just don't have enough power. Like, they can't double block here and then still kill this. So... Yeah, we get to take out a bunch of dudes here. <clears throat> okay, so they have nothing left from Escape to the Wilds. Alright, well, Trebuchet, you, you served us well, my friend. They can make this guy a 3-3, but then they can't block the Unicorn. Well, I guess it's not a Knight, so... That's not exciting. But then they still go to 1, so... Yeah. If they want to trade uh, Malevolent to Noble, yep, that's fine. I'm just going to have to keep the pressure on. Sack the Piper. I guess we could have actually just attacked with this, but then they keep this on board. And then in future turns, they can actually... Uh, sack something else to block here. They could like, double block. Block, block. 3-0. That night deck was out of control. Out. Out of control. Out, out of control is what, I, what I'm saying here. Do we get any cool rares? Thank you guys for watching. Slam the like button. Slam that subscribe button. Help a, help a, bro, a buddy out. That's buddy and brother. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Check out CoolStuffInc.com every Wednesday for brand new articles. Check out Patreon.com slash Frank It's a great way to support the stream for $1 or $2 a month. You don't have to spend 5 bucks, but you can. You don't have to spend 3 bucks, but you can. $1 or $2. If everyone's just donates 1 or 2 bucks a month to, to help support the content, it's great. Thank you guys for the support. I'll see you next time. Have a great whatever time of day it is.